Okay, so here's example three and four. So example three says, Lori, Lori would like to buy a new car. After carefully looking at her budget, she knows she can afford $275 monthly. Okay, suppose her bank can offer her a four-year loan at 2.75% APR. If she has 2,000 saved for a down payment, what, this is the key thing, what price can she afford? So this is where we are gonna go ahead and use the PV function, because it's not asking us what monthly payment can she afford. We already know that piece. So that's why it's gonna be PV. Our rate is 0 0.0275 monthly. We're going to get this loan for four years and we can 275 is our payment. So let's go ahead and bring up um, good old, where did it go? Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so let's see. When I put in equals PV, there's my function, okay, there's my rate, 0 0.0275, divide that by 12, number of periods, 12 times 4, and then you'll see here it says payment amount, so that's why we put it into the 275, and then we want this to be down to 0 in the future, okay. So that is why what loan she can afford, Lori, is $12,486.37. However, we have not used this piece of information where she has $2,000 saved. So really, Lori can afford Fourteen thousand four hundred and eighty six thirty seven dollars to buy a car because she already has that two thousand. So I just added the two thousand to the twelve thousand. Okay, our next example Nadia has graduated with a degree in social work. Hooray! <laughs> Unfortunately, she acquired $63,000 in student loans. Um, so A, if her loan repayment plan has a 4.9% APR for 15 years, key thing, make sure you realize, what will her monthly loan payment be? That gives it away that you'll use the payment function. Your rate is 0 0.049. It's every month. We gave it away here monthly. We're going to pay it every month for 15 years. And our loan amount is 63000 And we want it to be zero in the future. If you go ahead and do that into Google Sheets or Excel, we end up getting $494.92. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, how much interest will she have paid over the 15 years? So let's just stop there. So let's say interest. So again, we pay, or she pays $494.92 per month for 15 years. And if I do that in my calculator, I'm going to end up getting 89000 $85.60. Okay. Now it says, this is so that's this answer, how much interest. So I'm going to say, oh no, that is not true yet. So sorry. That's how much she paid total. So um, let me go ahead and be more clear with this. Now I have to go ahead and take what she paid total and take away how much her loans were. 
So again, be really clear with your answers when you submit your work. So $226,085.60. So I would say Nadia spent $26,085.66 in interest alone. This is huge. I'm hoping what this class does is make you realize it's not worth to take out as much if you have that, you know, luxury, of course. Um, okay, now this one. What percent of the loan is this? So really driving home this percent idea. I really want all of you leaving Math 105, like knowing percent, like the back of your hand. So remember, percent, the definition is part over total. All right, so the percent of interest, well, your part is 26, 85, 60. And it said, what percent of the loan amount? That gives it away to know what your denominator is. So it's divided by your loan amount. And if we do this in the calculator or Excel or Google, we get 0. 0.4141. So what that tells you, remember with percentage, um, the interest is about, since I am rounding, 41% of the loan amount. Now this is why I love this question so much because it really puts it in perspective how much, you're almost paying half in interest alone. So again, if you have the luxury and benefit of paying more, do it, take it while you can because in the end, you'll just be giving them more money that they didn't do much to really deserve. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time.